VB. It's the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions. Great personality profiles. Top 10 list of everything and anything. Great sports video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, and a whole lot more. You could check out my archive at Facebook and YouTube, RVB in Berwick, Massachusetts. Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Wednesday, October 19th, 2016, around 6.52 in the morning, Berwick, Massachusetts. The sun is coming up a little bit cloudy. It's about in the 50s. They're shooting for the 70s today. But wait and see if it's going to really be sunny out. Because yesterday they were saying it would be hot. But it turned out cloudy most of the day. So take it as a grain of salt. Some news to report on the RVB and news. Why? Do, 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 do. The LA Dodgers blanked the Chicago Cubs 6 0 to go up 2 1 in the National League Championship Series. The Cubs' bats are, are quiet and they need to wake up. The bats need to wake up or it will be 108 years since they last won a world championship. The Cubs had the best record in baseball this year. They should win it. And Chicago Blackhawks forward Marion Hossoff became the 44th player in NHL history to record 500 goals. So congratulations to him. Happy Mother Teresa Day in Albania. And 35 years ago today, um, the WWE title was held up at Madison Square Garden during a title match between champion Bob Barkland and Greg the Hammer to Valentine. The referee accidentally awarded the WWE Championship to Greg the Hammer Valentine. He was dazed, even though Bob Backlund pinned Greg the Hammer Valentine one, two, three. The title was held up just in the New York area. The WWE title was defended all across the territory anyway. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do 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 be back in a flash. <laughs> Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO Oxen has nice legs. Elizabeth Atso, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Led the church of WPIX Channel 11 New York. Such a rocking cougar. She's got the best legs in New York City, Barton. And Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 in Raleigh, North Carolina. Has a sweet southern accent. The best sweet southern accent in the world. And um, the nicest legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. The six cute leggy blondes. Only on RVBN. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. And today's personality profile is about professional wrestling superstar Rob Van Dam. The whole effing show missed in Monday night. And RVD. RVD's been in the world of sports entertainment for over 20 years. He's known for being a, one of the biggest superstars in ECW history. Ha having runs in WWE and TNA. Rob Van Dam was born and he grew up in Ballard Creek, Michigan. His real name is Robert San Skiski. And he was a big wrestling fan growing up. He attended WrestleMania 3. He also went to a house show in WWE 1987 with the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. He, he kissed the Million Dollar Man's feet for $100. Also, Rob was a... did martial arts. He was trained for, to become a professional wrestler by the original Sheik Ed Farrat, and he made his wrestling debut in 1990 in several independents as Rob Van Dam. He did it like a hard-hitting style with a lot of backflips and a lot of kicks. He, he even had a tryout in WCW for a few months. He used the name of Robbie V, but he actually went nowhere in WCW. He continued to wrestle in independence into Japan. His first big break 
and was in 1996 in the United States in ECW. Rob Van Dam um, feuded with Sabu. They had some classic matches, some of the best in ECW history. Back and forth, eventually Rob Van Dam and Sabu became tag team partners, and they were one of the most successful tag teams since the ECW history. Also, Rob Van Dam was involved in the ECW WWE angle. He was siding with Jerry the King Lala. He called ECW low budget and stuff. And he got the nickname Mr. Monday Night. It was just a, this was just to play on the ECW WWE angle, which actually didn't have a conclusion. And Rob Van Dam had some. Um, Bill Alfonso as a manager as well. Eventually, um, RVD became the ECW television champion by beating Bam Bam Bigelow in April of 1998, and he held, he held the ECW television title for 19 months until he suffered an injury, and he was forced to vacate the title, and was he was out of um, action for most of 2000. He eventually won the, the ECW World Championship for one night only, but ECW went under, and in 2001, and Rob Van Dam signed with the WWE, he was part of the alliance with WCW, fa facing off against the WWE, even though he was a heel, fans still cheered RVD, and RVD had Famous, has some famous moves, the Five Star Flog, Flog Splash, and the Van Daminator, and the Van Terminator. RVD eventually became one of the WWE's top stars. In 2002, he won multiple um, Intercontinental title reigns, and he has also won the Hardcore Championship and the European Championship. He fielded it with, um, with Lord Steven Regal, and and Chris Jericho and Triple H and among others but a lot of wrestlers complained backstage that RVD was a very stiff worker eventually RVD went into tag teams he teamed up with Kane he won the WWE tag team titles a couple of times in 2003 but eventually Kane unmasked and he and Rob Van Dam had a few also, RVD fielded with Randy Orton in the fall of 2003. They traded the IC title back a couple of times. Eventually, RVD performed the tag team with Booker T, and he became WWE Tag Team Champions in 2004. And RVD, you know, medaled around mid-card in 2004 before suffering an injury missing most of 2005 2006 the new ECW was formed and RVD was part of it and RVD got a major push he eventually became ECW world champion and WWE world champion at ECW's one night only by beating John Cena and Paul Heyman Count it one, two, three. And Rob Van Dam was supposed to have a long reign as WWE champion, but in the summer of 2006, Rob Van Dam and Sabu was were pulled over, and they were arrested because they had pot in the car. RVD is a big fan of like marijuana. He smokes it from time to time. The WWE had no choice to take the title off of Ram Van Dam. He lost it to Edge when Paul Heyman turned on him and RVD and, and Sabu were suspended for 30 days. Eventually RVD came back and he he like um was basically stuck in the ECW faction, getting a mid card push. He never won any more titles in the WWE. Eventually, he got phased down the cards. He lost on a pay per view in June of 2007 to Randy Orton. He basically left the WWE. He made an appearance on the 15th anniversary show of Monday Night Raw, and actually at 2009 on WWE Royal Rumble. He wrestled in some independent car 
odds during the 2007 through 2010 time range, and he started RVD TV, which was online, and they had like um, a, a DVD of the best of R RVD TV, which I have. And in 2010, Rob Van Dam went to TNA, and he, for the next four years, he was like a like one of the top stars in TNA, winning the TNA World Championship a couple of times, and also the X Division Championship, getting involved in a lot of feuds with Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles and Kurt Angle, among others, and they had like a reunion. Reunion of the ECW um, f f kind of faction with Sabu, Tommy Dreamer, the Sandman, and others, and um, TNA for a couple of nights only. Eventually, TNA and RVD like st stopped working together because like TNA was having some problems with their money. And RVD went back to WWE in 2014 just to put guys over. And he, Rob Van Dam still wrestles today from time to time on the independent circuit. And RVD is probably one of the most popular wrestlers in ECW history. And he should have been multiple time WWE World Champion because he was such over with the fans. He won the he won two times the most popular wrestler for PWI and also RV Deep's a big comic book fan. He starred he was in a, a few movies and television shows and he appeared on Family Feud in 2010. And I don't know if RVD's ever going to go into the Hall of Fame in the WWE. He should because he was a top star in WWE and he said he's Mr. Monday Night. Rob Van Dam. And that's about it on that. I will be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with two more video blogs coming for you. One will be about my weekly NFL predictions. Week 7 of the NFL. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the top 10 greatest t television stations in the greater Boston area slash Manchester market. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm Julie Button Guy. Molly Roseblood, WCC Alexa, and Slice Likes. Elizabeth Hutt's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York's is a rocking cool. It's got nice legs. And Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in the words of Vince McMahon, WWE owner, you got no chance in hell. Bye.